দেন ছিল মানে বা পজিটিভ ধরে নেওয়া হচ্ছিল তো ওটা কি ম্যাম ইলেকট্রনের কাইনেটিক এনার্জি না টোটাল এনার্জি কে কনসিডার করা হচ্ছে কারণ টোটাল এনার্জি এনার্জি করলে তো নেগেটিভ আসতে হবে নয়তো ইলেকট্রন এক্সিস্ট করতে পারবে না আগের দিনে ডিস্ট্রিবিউশনে এনার্জি সব পজিটিভ ধরেছে হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ ন্যাচারালি ওটা কি তাহলে ইলেকট্রনের কাইনেটিক এনার্জি ধরা হচ্ছে টোটাল ইলেকট্রনের যদি টোটাল এনার্জি কনসিডার করা হয় তাহলে সেটা তো অলওয়েজ লেস দেন জিরো চলে আসবে নয়তো ইলেকট্রন তোমরা মেটেরিয়ালটা দেখতে পাচ্ছো ঠিক করে এনার্জি ব্যান্ডের উইথ কি করে ডিপেন্ড করছে মানে কিসের জন্য ডিপেন্ড করছে এনার্জি লেভেল হচ্ছে <laughs>
আজকের ক্লাসটা একটু ভীষণ কনসেপচুয়াল দরকার পরের দিকে বোর্ড ছাড়া কি করে ম্যানেজ করবো জানি না সো তোমরা একটু ধৈর্য রেখো এর পরের থেকে আবার সহজ জিনিস হবে ক্লাসিফিকেশন না এর পরের কথা বলছি ওকে এইখানে একটা ভুল আমি টাইপ করেছি এই এই প্যারাটা পড়ছি আমি এর একটা ভুলটা বলে দেব উই হ্যাভ সিন দ্যাট দ্য অ্যাবজেক্ট চেঞ্জ ইন এফি ফ্রম 1 টু 0 এট টি ইজ इक्वल টু 0 কে বিকামস মোর এন্ড মোর গ্র্যাজুয়াল উইথ ইনক্রিজ ইন টেম্পারেচার ইট ইজ অবভিয়াস ইফ ইউ লুক অ্যাট দ্য ফ্যামিলিয়ার ডিস্ট্রিবিউশন ফাংশন ইউ উইল সি ফর ফাইনাইট টেম্পারেচার দ্য ফাংশন বিকামস ফ্ল্যাটার so from 1 to 0 the gradual change will be gradual the range of e over which this will be a phi it to not kore now ef na fermi energy na that will be fermi dirac distribution function the range of e over which a phi lies between 0 and 1 occurs that is the spread of the distribution function that will give the spread of the distribution function এফি জিরো টু ওয়ান ইন বিটুইন সো এট জিরো কে ইট ওয়াজ অ্যান অ্যাব্রাপ ট্রানজিশন অ্যাজ টেম্পারেচার ইনক্রিজেস ট্রানজিশন বিকামস মোর অ্যান্ড মোর গ্র্যাজুয়াল দ্যাট মিনস এফি ইজ ওয়ান ফর ভেরি স্মল ই ইনার কোর্টগুলোর জন্য এফি ইজ জিরো ফর হাই এন্ড ইন দ্য হাই এনার্জি রেঞ্জ ইন বিটুইন এফি ইজ লেস দ্যান ওয়ান অ্যান্ড গ্রেটার দ্যান জিরো that is that defines the spread of the distribution function now the this spread of distribution function as well as the location of the fermi level in the energy band configuration determines the electrical properties of the solid so it will determine whether the solid is a metal a semiconductor an insulator or something in between so we classify this as crystalline solids possess a set of allowed energy bands separated by forbidden gap it already i am not dekhechi a band in which the available energy states are free cannot conduct electricity if a band is completely full by the electron there will be no contribution to conduction we know that current is basically and the movement electrons are charged particles and their motion will involve and current flow so if a band is completely full in that case the electron cannot move to move the electron must gain some energy but if it is completely full there is no provision of movement of the electrons the electron cannot respond Gain, gain energy from the applied field so even if we apply some field of reasonable magnitude the electrons cannot find any empty states where they can go those empty states must be allowed that the bands are separated by forbidden region now if we give, apply some field not adequate for overcoming the entire forbidden gap then there is no question of electrons move movement and the current it will not respond to the field that means uh, uh, will not contribute to conduction process ma'am ekta video scroll korben eta ki korbo oi pdf ta ekta video scroll korben ami na deba ke korbe o ami jani na je korchi ami ঠিক আছে পরেরটা পরে দেখালেও হবে so this variation spread of fermi dirac distribution function is important because this when this fe is less than 1 that implies non occupancy that means few states are empty and above fermi level this fe greater than 0 means 
there is some occupancy. Few states are full. So the spread of Fermi-Dirac distribution function is very important to determine the electrical properties of solids. So in the solid, the location of this Fermi level along with this spread is important and make the classification can be made on that basis. If this Fermi level along with its fluctuations lies within an allowed band, we have number of bands. So if an allowed Fermi level lies within an allowed band, then all the states at low temperature, all the states up to this Fermi level are full. That means the band is partially occupied. So here, partially full. So if we apply a very small amount of field, small field to these electrons, they will get small energy and since they can move to adjacent appropriate energy level. Since Fermi level lies within an allowed band, and these, these all the states are below Fermi level are full, and the neighboring or energy states are empty. So for an infinitesimal field, the electrons will gain the energy and move to adequate levels, higher levels, because they are allowed and they are in. So electron motion is exceedingly easy here. So this category of solid is called metal, where Fermi level along with its the spread lies within an allowed band. Clear? Now, next second provision option is this Fermi level along with the spread lies in an forbidden band. Fermi level at the state now. Fermi level is a function, is a particular level, but basically it is a function, the distribution function. So Fermi level can lie anywhere that may be within band, may be forbidden gap. It is not forbidden for a mathematical function. Electron cannot occupy any states lying within this forbidden gap. But Fermi level is just an energy level we are taking as reference. It, and the Fermi Dirac distribution function is a function that can be applied to examine the behavior of failures. So if this Fermi level lies within the forbidden gap of a semiconductor solid, along with its display. So here, this bottom band is far away from this Fermi level. So here, all states are full. So the, this band is completely full. And the above, this band is completely empty. So as this is full, no motion or movement of electron is possible. So, and as there is no electron, so no question of the contribution. So, in this case, the solid behaves as an insulator. Same thing happens in another category of solid where Fermi level lies still within the forbidden gap. But here, the separation of forbidden, the magnitude of forbidden gap is quite small, so that the spread of Fermi level enters within this two band. That means in this region, say, if it falls within, a, within the lower band here, then for few regions, if he is less than one, that means certain non-occupancy is possible. So this band, a few states near this are empty. And here, if he is greater than zero, means some occupancy is there, and that tail enters, lies within the other band, which was otherwise empty. Now, due to this, if he greater than zero, few states will be occupied. So few electrons will be there, and few empty states are there. So both of these will contribute to current. This type of solids is called solid is called semiconductor. So the basically at t is equal to zero k, this will be an abrupt transition at EF, the 
fine material distribution function. So in that case here, this lower band will be completely full and above one is completely empty. So situation is just like as an insulator. So a semiconductor basically behaves as an insulator at very low temperature at is equal to zero. And as temperature increases, as the semiconductor has the band gap, which is quite small, then with the help of thermal energy, few electron from this full band can come, are able to move to the conduction band. And thus, conduction is possible. And in such type of conduction, both the electron and the empty states we call them whole participate. So semiconductor conduction takes place by two type of carriers, electrons in conduction band and hole in balance band. Conduction band means which is the lowest empty state. Balance band is the topmost full band. And it is another case which arises in real cases. Here the there are two bands overlap over a certain range of energy and Fermi level lies within this overlap region. So few states, this band practically is allowed and the Fermi level lies within this. So from this logic, it is a metal because adjacent states are empty and allowed. So it is possible to this material and readily respond to an electric field. And here it was otherwise full. Fermi level lies passes through this means the few states above Fermi level are empty. That means we can tell that holes are there because holes are the empty states are considered as whole in this otherwise full. So it is some uh, solid that lies in between a semi metal and semiconductor. Partially full band implies it is a metal. Conduction takes place by both electron and hole. From this aspect, it is a semiconductor. So it is an it is called semi-metal. Example is bismuth. And uh, insulator, the band gap must be large. Normally, band gap greater than 3.5 is treated as insulator. And, uh, as for example, band gap is 6 electron volt for diamond, 8 electron volt for sodium chloride. Whereas for semiconductor, aluminium, silicon, gallium arsenide, and many more, the band gap is of the order of, will lie roughly between 10 to 40 kT. So this is the more or less the classification of crystalline solids. Ekhani karo kuno query jate? Naale egoi. Ma'am, case D ta ki bolle ota mai bujlam na thik Can you please repeat the case D? The case D, ma'am. Last one. Last one. It's a very important thing. Amon noy to mager jono. Still, this is a possibility that we are considering distinct bands. One full, then other empty. Here. Two bands overlap over a certain range, a small range of energy. So if Fermi level lies, pass, lies in this overlap region, then for this band, all states below Fermi level will be occupied by the electrons at low temperature. And few states here above the Fermi level remains empty. So from this, from the definition of metal, that Fermi level lies within an allowed band that is satisfied here. So it can behave as metal. It is very sensitive to applied field as adjacent to the farm, this topmost full band. All states are allowed. That is most important. Allowed and empty. And here, since few states are empty in an otherwise full band, these empty states will also help in conduction. So in these empty states, absent electrons are defined as hole. I'm coming to that point later. So here, the electron and hole both will participate in conduction. That tells it, it should be a semiconductor. So it is basically 
and it's called seminetal and it lies within your metal and semiconductor. So, electronic semiconductor is an important class of So, for energy band diagram. Ma'am, D is the electric field apply to it. So, the electrons are in empty state. So, what is the conduction of it? Naturally, as few empty state lie adjacent to your topmost full state. That means those states are non-occupied. So electron can respond, getting a, gaining some energy, can move to the upper empty states. So some motion is possible. And as electrons are charged particles, that will give rise to current. Here, absent states allow conduction. Due to the presence of these empty states, absent electrons, conduction is possible. এটা একটু মনে হচ্ছে যে যে নেই সে কি করে কন্ডাকশনে পার্টিসিপেট করলো কনসিডার আ সিঙ্গেল एग्जांपल অফ সে ইন দা সিগন্যাল ইট ইজ রেড এন্ড ইন দা ক্রস রুট আ লং কিউ অফ কার্ড ইজ देयर ওয়েটিং ফর সিগন্যাল সো देयर ইজ নো প্রভিশন অফ মুভমেন্ট অফ দা কার্স देयर ওয়েটিং देयर ইন আ লং কিউ নাও ইফ সে ফ্রন্ট টু কার্স take u turn and leave in the opposite direction go to opposite direction then spaces are empty look and all the remaining car now can advance through this distance to to occupy this um, front positions that means as to car leave the, um, that induces their absence induces some motion in the remaining cars. It is just like that. The situation is just like that. How many, is it, how many cars are there? That will not determine their motion. Motion will be determined by how many positions are empty, how many cars have left. So basically, amount of conduction, amount of motion induced in the remaining car will be determined by the absent cars. Logically, we have to accept it. Yes, ma'am. So thus, conduct in conduction band is um, lowest empty states. But it is the band, means it is allowed band. So all states can be occupied by electricity. But valence band is topmost full band. And since it is full, even if we give some energy, the electrons cannot gain that energy as they did not find, they do not find any adequate states to occupy because all states are full in their valence band and they are, um, they are separate. And the next allowed states will be available only if the energy is sufficient so that the electron can overcome the entire forbidden gap. For small field, they will not, small electric field, they will not respond, they cannot respond so long as the valence band is completely full. But if few states remain empty, then it is possible. The next thing they How do we do it? It's this energy band diagram. I need this one. So <clears throat> now valence band and conduction band on an electron energy scale looks like this. Parabolic. Why it is parabolic? Basically, it is EK diagram. E is the total energy of electron, and K is the um, K is the direction dependent wave vector, electron wave vector. K means 2 pi by lambda. So 2 pi by lambda and in semiconductor, we, con we must consider the wave property of electrons. So an electron having momentum P, 
and wavelength will be associated with this according to de Broglie and that lambda is given by h by p. Jano to eta. So, k is 2 pi by lambda. Tahle dakho eta ki daran. P becomes h bar k. H bar is Dirac's constant. 2 pi by h by 2 pi. मोमेंटम अब दिन Associated wavelength will be de Broglie wavelength will be h by p. Now k is two pi by lambda, so k is two pi by divided by h by p, so it is two pi by h into p. Ulto bolam p by h bar brother, ha p by h bar h by two pi. That means p the momentum of electron. Comes out as h bar k, h bar being Dirac's constant. बुझा गया लो ना इस इस ऑफ़ दिन इस ऑफ़ दिन इसलिए बस बोल दें. So you will see that p is h bar k. So it is equivalent to electron momentum. Not the electron momentum. I will come to this point later. It is called crystal momentum. Momentum of electron moving within a crystal. So the energy versus momentum. A means the wave vector. So if we take and multiply it by a is the Dirac constant. It is just nature will remain same. It is just the scaling factor. So energy momentum relationship diagram shows like this. Is like this. This is the valence band and this is the conduction band. At the lowest point in the conduction band, this is. The potential energy of the electron that occupies this band. So it is say E C, E for energy, C subscript for conduction band. So this point moment potential energy is E C, and above this all the energy states will be occupied according to the kinetic energy gained by the electron. That is E is A P square by twice M. So H bar square K square by twice M. So as the elect one electron lies just at this point, it has a potential energy E C and zero kinetic energy. Now as it gain energy and it will move to the higher band, it will occupy the higher lying states. Similarly for valence band, but here as well, hole has. Causes a charge of charge of electron, but with opposite polarity. The curvature of the parabolic band is also opposite to that of the conduction band. So normally we draw it a diagram like this, but the simplified Venn diagram, we in routine device analysis, simplified Venn diagram is used. Where we draw, where we see, it is basically the energy versus position, potential energy versus position in the location of the carrier along the within the device. So it is x in position along x-axis and potential energy along y-axis. इखाने मैं total electron energy तो देखा थी. So E C, E C is the energy, the potential energy when an electron lie occupies the conduction band, and E V that for hole. So hole has opposite polarity than electron, so electron energy increases in this direction, hole energy will increase in opposite direction. It is optional only. So now see this one. This is the one. बीजेपी 
ইলেকট্রন এট দিস পজিশন হ্যাজ এনার্জি ই এ পোটেনশিয়াল এনার্জি এন্ড ইট হ্যাজ দা ইট মে হ্যাভ কাইনেট এনার্জি এন্ড অকুপাই হায়ার স্পেস ফলোইং দিস প্রোবাবিলিটি রিলেশন নাও দিস ইলেকট্রন উইল ইলেকট্রন এনার্জি ইনক্রিজেস আপওয়ার্ড সো দিস ইলেকট্রন উইল ফাইন্ড দিস পয়েন্ট বি এট লোয়ার এনার্জি সো দিস উইল হ্যাভ এন টেন্ডেন্সি দ্যাট ইট উইল রোল ডাউন এন্ড অকুপাই দিস ওয়ান পয়েন্ট বি সো এট পয়েন্ট বি হোয়েন দা ইলেকট্রন রিচেস হিয়ার its potential energy is eb and again at each of this point we can draw this parabola to express the kinetic energy but this ea is greater than eb so by this in coming from a to b its potential energy reduces but to move from a to b some motion is induced in it means some kinetic energy is it has now certain kinetic energy in contrary to point a it's this one it has only potential energy ea when it comes to eb it will move roll down along the slope means some kinetic energy will be induced in it so to it the energy must be conserved so from this we can draw this one this line showing that it now at this position b electron has potential energy eb say plus some kinetic energy this is the wave vector kb say b position that means eb plus h bar square kb square by twice m square by twice m kb is the wave number wave vector so its momentum is h bar kb so kinetic energy will be p square by twice m so h bar square kb square by twice m so ekhan theke ekhane asha your potential energy komlo but from zero kinetic energy it gets certain non zero kinetic energy and occupies accordingly in higher level it is here so that this energy conservation is present here and in course of time it will due to its motion it will lose its energy and finally come to this point so now this potential energy constant means it is a neutral energy and there is no field but if potential energy varies there is a slope implies the potential energy varies so potential energy ki electron charge into the potential so if potential energy varies its position that means i mean the capital v ta ke boli potential energy and phi is the potential or capital v potential energy is e into phi so its energy will be uh, dv dx change in potential energy with position dv dx is basically field into phi so d phi dx will be field phi being potential that means whenever there is some variation in potential energy it is associated with an localized localized electric field so the slope of the band implies there is there must be some electric field whereas when there is no change horizontal portion there is no change means constant potential so d phi dx will be zero it will be electrically neutral shobar clear hoy ni na ঠিক মতো বুঝছ হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ কিছু বোঝা গেল এবার তুমি যেটা বললে হয় তো বুঝবে 
potential will be infinite because r is zero there and at r tends to infinity the potential will uh, decrease and tends to be zero at r tends to infinity so this is the potential profile then the therefore the potential energy of an electron at a distance r will be simply vr will be simply minus e phi r electron charge so it is minus j d square by c r so its variation will be फर्मुला And hmm. C is four pi epsilon naught in M case unit. Oh, epsilon naught par meter. Oh, 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 oh. pi extra pi ko ila sa utak kete do. Mane utta C four pi epsilon naught ta C. Basically, ek ta constant ta onde matra thamano dar karni. We see that I R has one by R dependence. Ekha sa. So at position of the atom, potential is infinite and R tends to infinity. It vanishes to zero. Now potential energy minus e phi r. That means a same dependence in the opposite direction. Direction towards it. Now this is for a single atom. Now in a crystal, such atoms are closely packed. That means a particular atom. Now this is the position of one atom. This is another. This is the next one. I mean, it's a one-dimensional array. That means a chain of atoms sitting at regular interval of lattice constant a. Only for each atom, there will be this kind of profile, and since they are quite closely packed, these profiles do overlap. So ultimately, what will happen? In a, um, the resultant potential energy will be like this, this black one. It is a one-dimensional array. Hollam in a 3D crystal, basically there will be three dimensions, series of array of three-dimensional hum. So when a valence electron moves within a crystal, as the atoms ions are fixed at their position and follow some periodic manner, the electron will experience such variation in its atomic potential energy. So this is called the atomic potential or atomic potential energy. So atomic potential will vary. Repetitive manner with the same period as the crystal itself. So that's a more reasonable approximation according to free electron theory. Electrons are supposed to move freely within the crystal, but in actual scenario, a more reasonable approximation of potential experienced by an electron in passing through the crystal is one which is perfectly periodic with the Period of the lattice. Only a in it are more present. Now, the handling will be very much complicated. Now, now this type of potential profile in free space. I am not normally doing any electron. It is electron as a classical particle. It is moving freely. Then it's uh, There will be no external force working on this. It is only free. But in practical scenario, we experience such periodic variation of potential. We call it lattice potential. So its motion must be influenced by the presence of this additional field. So an electron moving in free space is no is different from an electron moving within a crystal. And see that for crystal to crystal, this potential, that is potential, will vary because, say, for germanium crystal, the J corresponds to the germanium, whereas for silicon, J will be different. The lattice constant means the interatomic separation will vary from crystal to crystal. So the lattice potential itself is different for different 
piston so we are interested in semiconductor so we are interested in notion of movement of electron in semiconductor we will apply some field how the electron responds to this accordingly the conductivity of the semiconductor can be determined calculated so this presence of this lattice such lattice potential makes our calculation too much complicated amar one kichu factor dhorte hobe er jonno সেজন্য কি হলো কনসেপ্ট অফ এফেক্টিভ মাস কমেন্টামিং টু under an electric field to the external force jeta ami bolchi seta amar in free space ki hoto dp dt change in momentum is equal to the force external force now the electron moves within a crystal so there will be some internal force coming from the lattice potential that will also influence electron's movement so our net equation will be within the crystal dp dt is if external the applied field plus if internal coming from the lattice potential variation and it is too much complicated tahole ki holo kintu ekta jinish dekha gelo dhoro eta ni shurute ki amar p is equal to mf acceleration is proportional to force and acceleration is equal to force by some proportionality constant we call it mass so acceleration is force by mass for free electron it is the mass of the electron free electron m not but when that electron of mass m not moves within the lattice then this f internal will come but it is found that even in presence of this f internal the electrons acceler gets accelerated and that also proportional to the internal field sorry external field in presence of this still the relation is valid acceleration is proportional to external force then the approach is we will consider the presence of f internal into the mass the proportionality constant so it is the relation then if we can get rid of this intern this term then our analysis becomes simpler we need not consider this for different semiconductors so dp dt is proportional to external force now it is this acceleration is proportional to f internal plus f external by m not amra f internal ta ke eliminate korte chai so since the electron still accelerates if our external force increases in spite of presence of this we can write dp dt sorry its acceleration is f external by some m star instead of the free electron mass m not m not ta ke amra replace korlam by another proportionality constant m star where f internal will no more apply so we can get rid of this f internal term the complication of semiconductor crystal only by replacing the free mass by an adequate mass m star we call it the effective mass this is effective mass of the electron so this m not has been modified to m star and the entire effect of this crystal lattice this crystal potential is incorporated in this modification clear hello মাস <laughs> that incorporates Man. all the 
আনপ্রেডিক্টেবল হয়ে যাচ্ছে বলে আর ভেরি থাকছে <laughs> দেখতে <laughs> ফাইনালিকন সবকিছুই আমি এতে ইনকর্পোরেট করা হয়েছে ওটা তো ডাইনামিক নয় ওটা তো তোমার ফিক্সড থাকছে কি ওটা তো কনস্ট্যান্ট থাকার কথা না সেগুলো সব ইনকর্পোরেট করে যাতে <laughs> আমি আর মানে ওই ল্যাটিস পোটেনশিয়াল এর কথা আর ভাববই না আমি ধরে নেব ফ্রি ইলেকট্রন ফিল্ডে যা বলেছিল উইন দিন উইদিন দা ক্রিস্টাল ইলেকট্রন মুভস ফ্রিলি আমরা এখন তাই ধরব ইলেকট্রন মুভস ফ্রিলি উইদিন দা ক্রিস্টাল কিন্তু তার এম নট টাকে আমরা চেঞ্জ করছি টু এফেক্টিভ এম স্টার হ্যাঁ ওয়ান্স উই নো দা এম স্টার ইট ইজ অলরেডি নোন 
for each instance, we will simply treat the electron as if there is no lattice potential. So, crystal is made of freely moving. Shock ke chhu bolte hai, amar jee area of atoms crystal structure ei gulo dhokano hai. Ye upor ami yodi kotha impurity diva ke chhu that is defined. Or ideal case, ami M not replaced by M star, and it will serve the purpose. Okay. जितना बोलना हूँ छोटा इतना बोला मैं तो वो अपनी डाउट पर देखती हूँ आप ये कर देना होगा तो डांस फॉर एन इलेक्ट्रॉन मूविंग इन एन सेमीकंडक्टर द फ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन मास इज रिप्लेस्ड बाय इट्स एफेक्टिव मास दैट इनकॉर्पोरेट्स ऑल द इन्फ्लुएंसेस ऑफ बैकग्राउंड लैटिस पोटेंशियल इट कैन देन बी the Newtonian mechanics can be employed to study the effect of external forces on materials. So once M naught is replaced by an appropriate M star, appropriate carrier effect mass, F internal will be ignored and F external is only present. So we assume that only F external is present. Finally, for conduction band. धोरे नीलम जब तक इस बकरा बुला नहीं होगे एक दस को एक दस कर बाई ट्वाइस एम स्टार आर एम नॉट नहीं अपने एक्सीलेशन इस प्रोपोर्शनल एक्सटर्नल फोर्स नाउ इफ देयर इस सम एडिशनल इंटरनल फोर्स दें दोस फोर फोर्स विल आल्सो बी इनकॉर्पोरेटेड इनटू मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ एम स्टार एंड वी विल गेट अ डिफरेंट एम um the conduction band it is uh, otherwise empty band when some electron appears uh, in the conduction band means it is free and its effective mass will be replaced by m star for that material which we are under consideration but in the valence band it is at very low temperature it is completely free at finite temperature few states are empty because few electrons with the help of thermal energy can move to the conduction band because it is semiconductor with temperature its conductivity increases electrons are able to reach the conduction band due to its reasonable width of the forbidden gap so now few states in the valence band are empty so here electron will come in the topmost band in the valence band now we will get small energy and move to the adjacent empty states so here the electron will have to electrons in the valence band move in a otherwise full band whereas in conduction band when an electron appears in the conduction band the entire band is empty and it will move there according to its energy in the valence band, the electrons will move, rather holes will move in presence of otherwise background in electrons. It is otherwise full band. Only few empty states have been generated. As few electrons has escaped this valence band to reach the conduction band. So few states are empty. And in the background, there are large number of electrons. It is an otherwise full band. So here there will be a background electrostatic potential, which is absent in case of conduction band. It is otherwise empty. So here in valence band, movement of carriers takes place in presence of the large number of electrons in the background. Crystal potential jachilo that is different thing. In this is an additional force. Appearing in the valence band, the electrostatic potential due to the background electrons, which is absent in case of conduction band. So here, the effect of this background potential will also be taken into account while defining the calculating the effect mass. So for holes, holes are the carrier in valence band, electrons are the carriers in conduction band. So for holes. Its effective mass will be further modified due to, in order to 
incorporate the effect of the background electrostatic potential. So thus, effective mass of hole becomes different from that of the electrons in conductor. It is in holes are heavier. Effective mass of hole is greater than the effective mass of electron in conductor. Just due to presence of the large electrons in the balance band. Admit kole. इलेक्ट्रनल उंड for valence band few states are empty and the due to presence of these empty states conduction is possible also so here the carrier effective mass we call the hole in the valence band carrier is a hole then this hole if will have to move in presence of in an otherwise full band in presence of large number of electrons occupying the band so they will exert some force on it on this carrier this additional force will be incorporated while calculating the effective mass for hole so presence of this additional force makes holes heavier than the electron debar bolo 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 इलेक्ट्रन मोमेंटम Uh, momentum of electron moving in the crystal within this age bar ke our internal crystal potential effect of this internal crystal potential has been incorporated so age bar ke is called crystal momentum rather than electron momentum electron momentum in presence of within a crystal that means the stark crystal structure will be no considering the crystal structure this a will be modified so now now the e is p square by twice m kinetic energy bole then that is e is h bar square k square by twice m the ek relation contains all the effects of background potential so this m star will be Different for different things. So momentum changes, gets modified in a crystal. So uh, we need to define the effective mass for a carrier. The kind of crystal for a so how will we get the E K relation for a particular semiconductor is important. Once this E K relation is Obtain once we get this EK relation, we can calculate the mass of the effective mass of the carrier. Now this, we are considering the wave property of the electron in general. The general form of wave is this one. Try it. This is 
it is e to the power i k r minus omega t. Omega is just angular frequency, r is the position vector, k is the angular vector, r is number. So E is H nu, that means H bar. Can I divide it by 2 pi into 2 pi equally H bar? H by 2 pi is H bar and 2 pi nu means H bar omega. So this omega is E by H bar, if E is the electron energy. And K is pi by lambda as always. So for this wave, we know the group velocity is d omega dk. And for omega, we write e by a. So it is group velocity is 1 by h bar d. So we get this. Now within the crystal, m0 is replaced by m star. P is crystal, electron momentum P is replaced by a by k, considering the crystal property. Now from Newton's law, Kibola Mamra, once we replace the mass by carrier effective mass, we can apply Newton's law to find out different parameter. So this is, we know that one momentum by velocity is the mass. So we write one by mass is velocity by momentum. Now we are going to have some expression for carrier effective mass. So one by m star, mass is m star, velocity is the group velocity, momentum we write a per k, the crystal momentum. Or we see that Vg is d omega dk. That means 1 by h bar d dk. Put that value and you will see that our effective mass 1 by m star is given by 1 by h bar square k d dk. So this gives the expression of effective mass where this once the ek the relation for a semiconductor is known we can calculate effective mass by using this relation, simply that relation. Momentum by velocity is the mass. Again, we can define m star in other way by that, from that equation, P is equal to mf. So one by mass is acceleration by applied force causing the acceleration. This is the Newton's law. So acceleration is dvg dt here. That is the group velocity. So dvg dt. dvg dt, our vg is 1 by h bar d dk. So we write dvg dt is 1 by h bar, then d dt of d dk. So we change it as d dt is changed as d d e d dt. So we get 1 by h bar d2 e dk2 into dk dt. Then 1 by h bar square d2 e dk2 and h bar square can we allow? We multiply one, we take h bar here, so another h bar here. So 1 by h becomes 1 by h bar square d2 e dk2 as it was. And DDT of a h bar ta camera h bar k. So h bar k is the crystal momentum. So that means momentum of electron moving within the crystal. <coughs> that is 1 by h bar square d2 e dk2 into force. Eta, dpdt rate of change of momentum. So this, in place of this term, we write it force. So we get <coughs> this acceleration by force is the mass, 1 by mass, 1 by 8 by square d2 dk2, this term. So acceleration divided by force, we get the 1 by mass. So we get another expression of effective mass. So this is one example expression and this is other expression. So for a particular crystal, EK, when the EK relation is available and we can calculate the effective mass for this crystal.
ঠিক আছে যা বললাম শুধু এই থাকলে ছিল আলফাটা জিরো হলে প্যারাবলিক কিন্তু আস্তে আস্তে হায়ার এনার্জি রিজিয়ানে এল ফ্রম দা ব্যান্ডেজ ইট ডিভিয়েটস ফ্রম প্যারাবোলা ধর আলফা ইজ সিস্টেম <laughs> So we normally, we assume that the electrons appearing, occupying the conduction, few lowest lying states in the conduction band, so parabolicity holds. So practically, we can see that non-parabolicity keeps in to it. We can see that there is no doubt in it. We can see that there is no doubt in it. But the concept of holds. We can see that there is no doubt in the context of holds. absence of two car induces motion in all other cars so some of it is possible the situation is just similar in case of four now we have seen that a completely full band does not contribute to conduction hmm? because there is no provision of movement so the electrons from due to lack of available states allowed states the electrons cannot move so it cannot respond to an applied field field the energy neve and accordingly it will try to occupy some empty state allowed empty states available but if the states are complete band is completely full no such states is available so no motion is possible so it, if we consider in the full band in ni electron charge e ni v will give the current density so it is summation of ni e vi so i type of electrons there with velocity vi so this summation over all electrons ami dhore niche n is the total number of electron with which the band becomes full so j becomes eta kintu eta noy ami eta ke modify kore bolchi seta lekha nei J become for a completely full band. J is summation of N I E V I summation over I. I am here. I will put just N, where N is the total number, and that is zero. Now, let me see. Must have already lost the data. Did you lose it? Go. I am asking for the data. J expression. Hmm. चार्जर किस ফুল নো কন্ডাকশন ইজ পসিবল নাও 
এইবার আমি ধরে নিচ্ছি যে ফ্রম দা ভ্যালেন্স ব্যান্ড ফিউ ইলেকট্রনস হ্যাভ মুভ টু দা কন্ডাকশন ব্যান্ড সো ফিউ এন ওয়ান নাম্বার অফ ইলেকট্রন ইজ লেফট ইন দা কন্ডাকশন এই ভ্যালেন্স ব্যান্ড and it is of the order of n only only few amount electrons have left the band so in that case our current density ki hobe nivi summation over n1 n1 number of electron is there tale n1 number contribution eta eta na ekhono bolchi eta ami modify kore bolchi যখন এন নাম্বার অফ ইলেকট্রন ছিল তখন এই মাইনাস এন ওয়ান বাদ দাও নেগেটিভ বাদ দাও এন্ড ইট ইস জিরো যখন এন ওয়ান নাম্বার অফ ইলেকট্রন আছে এন ওয়ান ইজ লেস দেন বাট অফ দি অর্ডার অফ এন ওনলি ফিউ ইলেকট্রন সার আছে দেন জে উইল বি আবার এখানে আমি বলছি পজিটিভ থাক ইট ইজ জাস্ট এন ওয়ান এটা বাদ দাও সামিশন অফ দিস দ্যাট শুড বি দা কারেন্ট এন ওয়ান নাম্বার অফ ইলেকট্রন সার দেয়ার সো উই উইল কনসিডার সামিশন ওভার এন ওয়ান now this j can be written as na shukti na expression na likhe bola acha eta ami na hoy bhalo kore likhe nebo likhe tarpor tomader bolbo tomar eto kon eto bodha mushkil hobe concept of whole amar tale next din ekta elaborate kore debo acha tomar eto to ami bole rakhi jodi আচ্ছা দীপান তুমি তো অর্গানাইজার এবার আমি তুমি আমাকে ইনভাইট করলে আমি জয়েন করলাম ইন দ্যাট কেস আমিও প্রেজেন্ট করতে পারি নাকি এটা শুধু ও আচ্ছা আমার ধারণা ছিল তুমি অর্গানাইজার তাহলে তোমার হাতেই সেইটা আচ্ছা তাই অসুস্থি লাগছে এরম ভাবে ফেলে যেতে তো বোঝা যাচ্ছে না এভাবে বলি সহজ জিনিস না কি দেবে পাওয়ার আচ্ছা কনসেপ্ট অফ আমি নেক্সট দিন আবার আমি নেক্সট দিন হোলটা আবার আসবো কিন্তু তাছাড়া বাদ বাকি গুলো মাথার মধ্যে রেখে দাও বোঝো যাতে why density of state bolchi amra jani je in the within the every band there are allowed states which are discrete a large number of allowed discrete states are there in any allowed energy band so we need to find uh, calculate the current uh, carrier density in semiconductor we will have to take help of density of state what is the density of allowed states first we have to determine that and we will multiply the probability of occupancy with the, with it so that that will give the density of occupied states so that is nothing but the carrier concentration okay carriers will occupy allowed states so number of density of allowed states as we calculate density of allowed states and then multiply the probability of occupancy that means that we then get the product to give density of occupied levels occupied states so that will give the density of carrier in the band so carrier concentration can be calculated from this so density of state is an important concept and which is defined as definition ta mone rakhbe number of allowed states per unit energy interval per unit volume of the crystal that is the definition of density of state. number of allowed states per unit energy interval per unit volume of the crystal 
Now, to determine the density of state as a function of energy, we assume the specific situation a cube. Crystal is a cube with edge A. Now, electrons are allowed to move relatively freely in the conduction under the semiconductor, but are confined to the crystal. Within the crystal, it is moving freely. Once we replace the mass by effective mass, free electron mass by effective mass, but they cannot come out of the crystal, so they move within the crystal freely. Now we consider the wave property of electrons. It's okay. When wave properties are considered for a particle, we cannot pinpoint its location as we do in case of classical particle. For any particle, we can say that X, this is its position. We can pinpoint it. But when we consider the wave property, then the due to the wave nature, there will be some spread. We can never pinpoint the, its location. So there will be always some, whatever we tell, disposition, momentum, energy, etc. There is always, there will always be some associated uncertainty described by Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. So the probability, when wave property is considered, then rather than pinpointing its location, it will be, their position will be described in terms of probability. The probability of finding the particle at any point x is determined by the square of amplitude of its wave at that point. Shape position a, the amplitude wave a, square of that amplitude will give the probability of finding the particle at this. So there will be always some uncertainty. We are not telling that it is its position, which is will be stated in terms of probability. Thus, an electron, as electrons are confined within the crystal and cannot come out of it, amplitude of the wave must vanish outside the crystal. Right? The probability of finding the particle is proportional to amplitude square of the wave. So, as the electrons are moving freely within the crystal but can never come out of this. That means the amplitude of the wave must vanish outside the crystal. Even this wave, when we represent some electron by an wave function, the wave fun function must be continuous, finite and single valued. Dorkani continuous tai shudhu bhavo. Tarmani, there is two boundary, the surface of the crystal, two boundaries there are there. So within the crystal, electrons are propagating moving outside the electron the electron can never appear so its amplitude must be zero outside this and at the two boundaries here also their amplitude must be zero it cannot otherwise it will be discontinuous outside the boundary zero within the boundary non-zero maybe non-zero but at the boundary it must be zero to ensure continuity of the whole function so, the crystal must accommodate integral multiple of a half wavelength of electrons. If the edge have accommodate kori, then this at this two boundary edge of the crystal, the wave function vanishes. Is the lattice? Hello. Class niche half an hour. Hello. No, no. Class niche by five half an hour. Okay. So this wave will cross the zero point. So if this amplitude, these nodes appear at the boundary, then we, the condition is satisfied. So we can say if A is the crystal, we define, consider the crystal as a cube of edge A, then 
in lambda by 2 must be a must be in lambda by 2. That means the cube must accommodate within the two boundary. The integral multiple of half wavelength must be occupied to satisfy the condition that wave function wave vanishes at the boundary and obviously beyond this two boundaries, outside these boundaries. So this is the condition we, this is the restriction for this. This must be obeyed in lambda by 2 is equal to A. Okay, So, we can define K as K is 2 pi by lambda from the above relation in lambda by 2 is equal to A. I put the value of lambda here and get K as n pi by A. N is the integer. 1, 2, 3. I have the only integer value. So, K becomes n pi by A. So, we know that E is 8 by square K square by twice M. So, our K square is nothing but 2M E by 8 by square. A M tuck into effective mass. I am here to show you the same So, 2m e by h bar square is k square. And for 3D crystal, we split it into three axes, x, y, z. So k square is nothing but kx square plus ky square plus kz square. And put the value of k as n pi by a. So we write it as nx square plus n y square plus n z square into pi square by a square subtraction. Where in x, y, z are different for different three directions. It's a camera general. In that case, it's the same. In any case, I split it along the three axes. Now, nx, ny, nz are positive integers. So, the e combination of this nx, ny, nz. That means a combination of kx, ky, kz will define a particular value of k and will give a particular energy e as 8 by square k square by twice. So each energy state can be represented by this in its ny in z. Also, amplitude of the wave, amplitude of the wave must vanish outside the crystal along with at its boundaries. Mane, it has the crystal take a bite of the electron. So, when I keep confined, the crystal is not confined. 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 The outside the crystal, it can never come out of the crystal. It is confined within the crystal. The outside these two boundaries. Wave must vanish, so amplitude of the wave will be zero outside the boundary. Or within this, it may follow certain what nature, but the, at the two boundaries, the wave must also vanish at the two boundaries to ensure the continuity of the wave. Abruptly, by the zero or at the boundary, that the large value of the discontinuous. So for the continuity of this wave function, it is a very preliminary assumption, and it must it must be obeyed. The wave function, the connector, electron wave property described for us, no, we represent an electron by an wave function. The function must be continuous, finite, and single valued. Apatha tamari khani shudhu continuity ta dholei chole jatche. She jonne ami boundary the amplitude ta zero hobe dhore nila. Acha. Integral multiple of half wavelength being accommodated in along this in this direction. So we boundary the zero have a wave zero hot to ekane tahole hot to kin to tarmaniki let on the kothaoni. Within the crystal to at seek a gekan to me flatly zero to the pari. Either to jaga zero, tahole boundary te u zero. A restriction that the camera, each energy state will be defined by the unique combination of NX, NY, NZ for a particular crystal. A is fixed. 
তাহলে এন এক্স এন ওয়াই এন জেড তিনটাই তোমার ইন্টিজার এদের এক একটার এক একটা ভ্যালু দিলে মানে ওয়ান 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 টু ওয়ান টু ওয়ান ওয়ান বা হোয়াট এভার এই যে আমরা এক একটা ভ্যালু এদের দেব দে উইল ইউনিকলি এই কম্বিনেশন অফ এন এক্স এন ওয়াই এন জেড উইল ডিফাইন সাম স্টেটস কোয়ান্টাম স্টেটস নাও ইফ উই প্লট দ্য এবার so one eighth of this sphere will basically contain all the different energy states we are interested in hmm tane ami shudhu positive one eighth of the spherical space ke se consider korchi ta mane ami k x k y k z jodi ekhane k x k y k z dicchi that will form the k space ei k x k y k z er value ekhan theke boshale ডিফাইন করতে পারছি আবার কে এক্স প্লাস ওয়ান এর জন্য এই পয়েন্টটা তাহলে এই দুটো স্টেট এর মধ্যে সেপারেশন এবং কি হচ্ছে ডিফারেন্স between the neighboring states in all three directions is pi by a thus the volume of k space pi by a whole cube this volume of k space is assigned to each state can a pi by a in the direction mentioned a a line it has been full the volume v x v k of a single quantum number is pi by a whole cube in three direction each in of the three direction pi by a separation is maintained so we can assign a volume pi by a whole cube for a k space uh, quantum state so tar <coughs> mane in unit volume in k space there will be dk by pi by a whole cube so number of states in the differential volume in k space ড্রয়িং টু স্ফিয়ার অফ এনার্জি ই এন্ড ই প্লাস ডি ই এই যে স্ফিয়ারটির পার্টটা এঁকেছি উইথ রেডিয়াস কে ইন কে স্পেস এনার্জি উইল বি ই ইচ পয়েন্ট অন দি স্ফিয়ার এনার্জি উইল বি ই অ্যান্ড হিয়ার ইট ইস কে প্লাস ডি কে দ্যাট মিন্স ইন দ্য আউটার সার্কেল স্ফিয়ার এনার্জি উইল বি ই প্লাস ডি ই সো উইদ ইন দ্য রেঞ্জ উইদ ইন দিস এরিয়া উইদ ইন দিস ভলিউম বিটুইন টু স্পেরিক্যাল সেল 
that is changing decay is changing by decay. It will lie in energy range E and E plus dE. All the state occupied the volume between these two spherical shell will have energy lying in the range E and E plus dE. Volume differential volume in case space is 4 pi k square decay. A volume between two shell. It is 4 pi k square into decay. Shekhane ami. Tali a volume kotugulo state thakte pare. Shetami to par unit volume in case space that was a cube by pi cube. Tali a volume case space. Number of state is this one. Gondo lakte. Therefore, the differential density of state in case space is given as one eighth Kaunami sphere, one eighth considered fully among all the states. Will be considered. So one eighth of this one into two. These two comes due to the spin states. And once we mul two, multiply two here, then we will consider the number of states they consider could see in each state only one electron can be assigned. Only one electron can occupy one state. Not two electron because we are considering the spin factor here. It is in Aditam, Tahuli, the number of state peta, each state can occupy two electrons of opposite state. Into we are considering two here, so we will uh, just forget about the earlier state. So here it is, it comes out as square by pi square dk into a cube. Now, <coughs> The number of quantum state in case space between K and K plus DK. The many is spherical shell is that is DK, DK, DK as the integer state in case space within the interval DK. It is K square by pi square DK. Tahule per unit volume by definition it was density of allowed states per unit energy interval per unit volume. Talemi a cube tamar volume is tale, tale cube take an embaddi with the pari or eta talama density of state dixi in the range k and k plus dk, potubulo. We are in, we will have to determine density of state as a function of energy. Sheta yama more interest. Tale simply keta k, we will eliminate k by using this relation, k is this one. So K DK is M by E plus K T E. It will finally. It's going to be a very good factor. It's a total. Total number of. Hmm. Now we can determine the density of state as a function of energy using this relation. So it will be a very good thing. It will be a very then we will get GED, density of states in terms of energy in the interval E and E plus D. Shekhane Amra just take a K eliminate Kurbo by using energy and we will get this one. So basically eta amadilo the density of number of quantum states. Per unit energy interval, per unit volume. That means it is the true density of state. We energy give code a genish number of power. If an h bar square, and if we replace it by h by 2 pi, the expression comes out as this. So we see that the density of allowed states is a function of energy. Higher the energy, higher will be the density of states. It varies as e to the power half. E and G looks like this. 
So there can be problem that calculate the density of state per unit volume with energy between zero and one electron volt. ठीक कि कैलेंडर
এটা কি স্ক্রিনে এসছে বলছি ছেড়ে দাও এভাবে হবে না আমি ওইটাকে আনতে পারছি না দেখছি দেখতে <laughs> number of remaining electron in the band is n1 that is obviously less than n 
but comparable strength. And that means only few electrons has left the band. Kahuli now, when few empty states are there and all other states are full, we must it will participate in conduction and we must consider contribution of all the electrons present in the band. Kahuli is at this case. Uh, the number density will be J is some is called about the three thousand twenty. No, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Any V I it will be summed over the electron present in the this is N one, sorry. Full band in N the K M band of full hoy with N electrons. Now N one number of electrons are there. So parents it will be this one. Where N one is less than that of the order of N. So only few states are in. Now D is given by this disposition. We can write it as summation over in N I E V I. Summation over N I E V I. So dot 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 finish over in minus this minus summation over n minus n1 vetore n i v i the one is summation over n is written as summation over n minus summation over n minus n1 Clear hello? Yes, ma'am. First term. First term is zero. Already I will link it. Turn of completely full band will not contribute. So first the summation of our n is zero on the top of the page. First term comma zero hobby and the contribution j will be just this one. This term is zero, so J will be simply this term with a negative sign. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so it becomes this. It becomes this. Summation of the NIEVIL. Kahuli, Amra Dixi, N minus N1 K, the electrons which have left, that in number. So instead of this one, first the second relation, the summation over N1, so contribution from the present, all other electrons present can be replaced by if the contribution from the absent electron. So and all these absent electrons will appear in the top of the valence band because we'll, so with a negative sign of NIEVI. If we incorporate this negative sign, so if we um, the final expression gives tells that contribution from the absent electrons must will be same as the contribution from the otherwise I mean, partially empty band. But this time we must put a negative sign in the calculation. The many our in one number of electron contribution if we concentrate on the absent electrons, n minus n1 is much small, and with and then only a negative sign is to be put. So if we consider this negative sign, attach this negative sign, 
in this one isha yadi amra diye de so that is in i minus e bi a minus sign ta ke ami ওখানে ভেতরে কনজিউম করে নিয়েছি সো মাইনাস বিকামস প্লাস সো ইফ উই কনসিডার আ পার্টিকেল অ্যাবসেন্ট ইলেকট্রনস ক্যান বি কনসিডারড হ্যাভিং আ চার্জ ইলেকট্রন চার্জ ব্যাক টু ইট অপোজিট পোলারিটি দেন ইট উইল গিভ দা सेम কারেন্ট কন্ট্রিবিউশন सेम কন্ট্রিবিউশন সো উই কল দিস ক্যারিয়ার অ্যাজ Hole, hole with have same charge as an electron for this with a negative sign. That means electron charge is negative. Hole, the particle defined the the absent electron is defined as a particle called hole with has the the same electronic charge but with a opposite sign. That means holes will have form charge plus plus e. Whereas electron has minus so due to their opposite polarity the mm. opposite polarity the direction of increase of energy will be opposite in a um, in presence of an external field holes will move in the direction opposite to that of the electron the I mean, electron field direction is opposite to the drifted hole whereas holes will move along the same way. ইলেকট্রন পাচ্ছি and we will have to consider if it be mass different effect for different states different different electrons so we can if we consider only the empty states then all states lie near the bottom top of the valence band edge of the valence band and periodic relation is there so the curvature of this valence band from this curvature of the valence band if it be mass can be easily calculated ইলেকট্রনিটিং mass will be determined by the band curve and we can assume we can uh, take the same effective mass for all this absent electron so we define hole as we focus one to focus for this empty space kintu conduction band the valence band the okane conduction band the dto decay to near the top of, bottom of the conduction band the curvature mass defined hoychilo and all states here electron is same mass band is effective mass amra boli eta amra apply korte pari so the curvature of conduction band and valence band are different and we see that 
and with the DP decrease means positive for this conduction will minimum. So effective, we can determine the effective mass. Here it is maximum. So D2 indicates will be negative. So effective mass becomes negative. It is not acceptable conceptually. But what does it imply? It implies the holes will be accelerated in a direction opposite to that of the opposite to the direction direction of acceleration of the electron in conduction band for a specific field. So thus we can ex explain the negative mass for holes. इलेक्ट्रन डायग्राम So here, all this lies near the bandage means parabolicity holes, and in the calculation, we can determine the mass and can assign this mass to all the electrons present in the conduction band, and we can calculate the current density, current now resulting due to from these electrons. In case of valence band, few states are empty here. रिलेशन इज नट डिटार्मिन that can be assigned to all of the states so they are empty by this expression we see that if we concentrate on the empty states then we can just use this effective mass to that one and minus eta ke okhane dhore opposite charge korlam so hole is a particle basically the absent electron is represented by a particle called hole which have minus plus e charge and ekhane parvet chapter negative hoye jacche so amar je expression effective mass is that will be negative and we justify this negative mass by this as electron under an electric applied field electron will be accelerated and uh, the proportional proportionality constant is the mass similarly for here the hole will have negative mass in type it will be accelerated in the opposite direction than the electron accelerated so thus the negative effective mass can be conserved so obviously as we consider the charge as plus e for hole obviously it will move drift in opposite direction with respect to the electron carrying charge minus e so thus concept of hole is introduced to make the analysis simpler ekhane ami ekta single effective mass constant the effective mass can be assigned to all these empty states so we consider that holes are present only in this small regions absent holes are the carriers for valence band absent electron defined as holes are the carrier in the valence for the valence band so we will forget about 
all the electrons lie in the large number of states electron bandage. Even volume. এই কনসেপ্টটা তো আজকে একটু ক্লিয়ার করে নাও नेक्स्ट দিন থেকে আমরা খুব ফাস্ট এগিয়ে যেতে পারবো এরপর সব সহজ জিনিস ঠিক আছে তো তাহলে এক কাজ করো কিছু বলছো না হচ্ছে কিছু এবার যদি ওইটা একটু পড়ো নোটটা যদি পড়ে দেখো তাহলে আর একটু ক্লিয়ার হবে স্টিল কিছু প্রবলেম হলে আমি नेक्स्ट দিন দেখি হুম ওকে ওকে ম্যাম नेक्स्ट ক্লাস অন মানডে सुविधा <laughs> তুমি কনসেপ্টটা ভুলের কথা বলছো তো হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ ম্যাম কনসেপ্টটা আমি দেখছি এটা কোনো ক্লিয়ার দিই থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ ম্যাম হবে কিন্তু তোমাদের আমার মনে হয় না আন্ডারগ্রাজুয়েট যে বেসিক ইলেকট্রনিক্স আমি জানি না মানে অ্যাকচুয়ালি আমাদের আর ইটিসি এন্ড আই ইনস্ট্রুমেন্টেশন এন্ড ইলেকট্রনিক্স এদেরই খালি কমন এই মডিউল মডিউল বি অফ বেসিক ইলেকট্রনিক্স সো কোশ্চেনও এক করতে হবে परीक्षार Yeah, for you it is more than sufficient okay i will provide the page and uh, next day, um, monday 10th okay. thank you thank you ma'am thank you ma'am thank, thank you ma'am 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 छोटे